Live from New York. It's the show that has a side bet that's going to pay off in 45 seconds. It's first things first. Let's start with the end of Trey Lance era in San Francisco. Really? Maybe. Maybe. Now that Sam Darnold is officially the backup to Brock Purdy, Shanahan says he's open to trading Trey Lance. Take a listen. Let's yeah. do a little Easter egg there at the end. Yeah, and also, and also shout out to Kyle Shanahan for on Tuesday when asked directly about this equivocating, then on Wednesday not meeting with the media and instead going on the flagship radio station for that interview. That was a very, for answering for you know one of the worst tra- draft disasters in modern NFL history, I'm really glad he's answering for Yikes. it in full, but go ahead. What's next for Trey Lance? Uh, listen, I'm, as I said yesterday, I'm not, I'm, I have no reason to believe he's great. I don't even have evidence that he's good. I also, for a player who is younger than Will Levis, who was in this year's draft class, mm-hmm. who was drafted at 20 years old as one of the rawest, most unproven first-round players ever taken and has gotten less than 500 snaps or pass attempts, college and pro combined, I'm not ready to write him off. Yeah. I'm not ready to say that Kyle Shanahan, and in his infinite wisdom, who right when he got to San Francisco could have drafted Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson and instead took Solomon Thomas, who doesn't play for the team anymore, oh, who then could have drafted wow. Lamar Jackson, who then could have drafted Justin Fields, who I think can play because Trey Lance evidently can't, could have drafted Alabama Mac back when he was Alabama Mac and not have to give up picks. That because those guys – who one year ago today were as dead set that Trey Lance was the guy that they locked Jimmy Garoppolo out of the building, that a year later, after a game and a quarter and a broken leg, and they were trying to trade him before OTAs even started, so they were done with him before this offseason, because they're now done with him doesn't mean I necessarily believe he can't play. So I think someone will take a flyer on him. It hurts, Brew, that because he was the number three overall pick, he has – relatively big guaranteed right. money for a backup player or a third-string player, but I don't think his career's over. I'd like to see him get a chance. I think he will get a chance, and I don't even think the Niners are completely done with him. I mean, look, if, if nobody gets hurt, they pretty much are, but if I'm the Niners and John Lynch has said most likely he's going to stay on the roster. Now, if they can get a trade for him, I'm sure they'll take it if they can get something back. But as you said, with the contract, it's tough. with people not knowing if he can play or not, you might not get that. But look, Brock Purdy, you guys know I like Brock Purdy, but he played nine games and got hurt. Yeah. Who's to say? I'm not. That's right. I don't think he's another Jimmy G, but Jimmy G couldn't stay healthy. Yeah. Nobody, a lot of guys there have been hurt. So yeah, why is that? Or if Brock Purdy. Why does everyone get hurt? Yeah. You got an answer, obviously. Well, I, I, the blocking scheme when you're let, when you're letting everybody run wild and you're not putting enough guys. Well, blocking, it's not just the quarterbacks though. Just that's, no, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's the quarterback. That's why Brock Purdy got hurt. I forgot who we had here that broke it down more in depth than I could. Stink. Stink. Yeah, yeah Stink. and he was like, "Hey, this is not. This isn't. You're leaving Hassan should be, Reddick yes, out on Hassan an Reddick. island. Yeah, that's well, the, that's your fault. Elk, and that goes to what I'm saying. And not to mention, and you guys know I believe in Purdy, but. We still only saw him for nine games, really seven games, right? No, I I believe in him. I'm just saying we can't sit here and say he's an absolute sure thing. And even if we had, by the way, just real quick, even if we'd seen him for 50 games, Mm -hmm. any player who has massive surgery on their throwing arm is a question mark of what he's going to be after that, plus the unknown part of it. So go ahead. And we know darn. So let's say Purdy either gets hurt or just doesn't play well. Then we know Darnold could go out there and not play well yeah. or get hurt. And then you got Jordan Love. So or, I would Trey keep Lance, Lance. I mean, I'm sorry, Trey Lance. I would keep him as my third guy if I don't get a good and, deal for him. And to your point, look, if he goes elsewhere, we both think Jordan Love's gonna be pretty good this year. For the Packers. We would not have said that three years ago. That's right. Or two years that, ago. It, this could be. I mean, he obviously is raw. He needs to learn. So I think he needs to make sure he doesn't let this destroy his but mentality, that's why which I could don't... happen. But just make the most of this opportunity and learn. That, learn, right. learn, learn. So when you get your chance, which I think you'll get somewhere, you try to make but the most of But that's also why I don't understand why they wouldn't just call him the number two quarterback. Because you don't lose Sam Darnold mentally or emotionally. He just wants a job. 
Sam, if Sam Darnold's number three. Sam Darnold's happy to be on a team getting a, getting a paycheck, right? You're not going to lose him. And even if you know deep down, okay, if Purdy suffers a season-ending in, injury, we're probably going to quickly go from our number two Trey to our number three Darnold. If Trey, so you it, think me, meaning I, we would still go to Darnold? Ma- maybe, you'd go to, maybe you'd go to Trey immediately, but then quickly, if it's a long-term injury, switch out if you have to. I, I feel like the, the Purdy discussion was one thing. Because it's like, never lost. You know what I mean? Maybe we did find you know, mm-hmm. the, a poor man's Tom Brady late in the draft. Darnold is the opposite of Trey Lance in this regard. He is a total known quantity. Well, he's been I, the I, same player every year But of his he's career. been in bad situations. I, and I don't, I'm not saying he's going to be Steve Young, as Kyle Shanahan said, but... I, Look, he clearly was better than Lance in the practices. No, but but they were. I guess here's my point: they were ready to trade Trey Lance. This is the part that no one has explained to me. Trey Lance is your Week One starter last year. Plays terribly in that opening game against right. Chicago. Well, that is fair. But I, that, it was soaked. It was soaked, and it was his third career start, bro. So even right. if it was perfect conditions, if you if you name a guy your week one starter and it's his first real time being your starter like full time, and he has a bad week one, no one's going to care. Yep. Week two, he breaks his leg early in the first quarter. The reporting is they were trying to trade him in February. What happened? What, he, he had a broken leg. It's not like, well, he was terrible in practice after that. No, well, what he happened had a broken was they, leg. They, felt, they started believing in Brock Purdy. Right. But Darnold wasn't even there yet, is my point. My point is, I don't think it was so much that Darnold wildly outpaid him, played him. It, it was that. To, but they were done with him in what February. What incentive do the Lynch denied that? I mean, who, we'll, who knows who's yeah. true. But what incentive? Like, why wouldn't they want Trey Lance to succeed? I, the. the, the it but, makes no sense. It, it, I agree. It makes no sense. And I think the Niners have botched this in, in historic fashion. I, and I want to show, like, when I say. I, I just think he's, I, I, Nick, I think he has not shown them much in practice. Uh, and you can say, well, they were going to start him last year. But that's kind of talking out of both sides. Like, but, oh, last year they were going to make a good decision. This no, year they're making a bad decision. But he, he no, just hasn't my impressed. point is, is that they saw him all last offseason. And he was the unquestioned number one. Before True. he got a chance to practice again, they were done with him. Because I he, think he, it he was because I think they felt like we're going to move on from Jimmy G. Yes. And they, there was no other alternative at that point uh, but Trey Lance. And, and can I just show you how little opportunity the guy's gotten? I think we have it. This is these guys just pass attempts, including college. Like how, and again, I think it should be restated, Brew. When he was drafted, it wasn't just that he had sat out his final year of college, and it wasn't just that he was D2. He was also one of, of all 200 and some players taken, one of the youngest players drafted. He was 20 years old when he was drafted. To to have a a player that you knew was going to be a project, and then abandon the project to the extent of you're choosing Sam Darnold over him. I'll tell you this. But they, say, they don't owe him anything but the money that they are supposed to pay him. I, I mean, seriously, like, this is professional football. It, just because we drafted you high, if you come in and you don't look good or whatever happens, we don't owe you anything. We don't owe you to, oh, let's soft pedal it so his mentality stays strong. You have to be no, strong to play in this but league. But you owe it to yourself to not throw away a resource before you know it's They sound. think they know. Right. And, and, I, and, and they'll I'm keep saying, him third string. And they the, got their quarterback, they think. Yeah. As, as, it yeah. doesn't matter which one it is. I, they still got the quarterback they think they just going to lead him. Yeah. I'd like, I'd like uh, Shanahan's, you know, semi-frenemy Sean McVay to call him and, see, and have the Rams. The Rams who have an aging quarterback, they're not going to be very good this year. That'd be interesting. And see, if, see what he could do with them. I, I think there's – I think he will get a shot. The, and I would, I'd like to see – we saw McVay got 90 minutes with Baker, and all of a sudden Baker looked like, oh, maybe he could. I know we're, I'm not trying to talk Baker, but he played one of the best games of his career you know, a few weeks after getting there and had one of the best drives of his career a day after getting there. I, I'd like to He's see – He's got six more Rams. stars do you, in Do you think it would be weird if <laughs> – the Dolphins don't make a call with Mike McDaniel. And Tua, it could go down any Because Mike McDaniel was there for at least briefly with him his rookie year. I think it would be odd if the – I mean, I don't know what the money no, is It would be. say that McDaniel doesn't think much of him either. 
Well, the money really part of it into is it. The, the money's real. That's the, the problem. And they have Mike White, who I think they feel like they have a, a decent good backup. backup quarterback situation. Jeez, Mike White but, is but if, if better McDaniel, than Trey Lance. Hold on. If McDaniel – Saw something in Trey Lance, then I and think knew he that called. potentially yeah. he could be something special. Yeah, he definitely. Then called. I think he called. There's no yeah, question he called. The last uh, four out of the last six years, the 49ers have had three quarterbacks play. So yeah. maybe we do see him play. This, this is, is ridiculous. NFL.com. Uh, Adam Shine. Is Adam Shine, friend of the show. I love Adam Shine. Okay. Fellow yeah. WAR Hall of Famer. That's what it is. Yeah, I and, like him. And, and our Sam Pepper's wife. Produces Adam Shine show. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Adam Shine. Shout out. This is a terrible take, but I like it. Is it? Is it? Is it? For 2023, coming in at one, the 49ers, then Chiefs, Bills, Eagles, then overrated Jacksonville. Uh, Here's the tale of the tape from Josh. 2022 comparison with the caveat this is the 49ers with McCaffrey. So they scored more points than the Chiefs. Chiefs had more yards. 49ers had more big plays. Chiefs had better or better on third down. So, bro. Are you buying that San Fran can be the number one offense in the league? Yes, I'm oh, buying that's... it. Now, the qu- the key is you said could be. You didn't say will be. I'm not guaranteeing. I would pick the Chiefs. They got the best quarterback we've ever seen. Yeah, okay? okay. The Bills, the Eagles, they're all up there. Could they be? Absolutely. How about should they be? They were t- – no, I'm, you said could. How about We're sticking there. They were a top five offense last year. With Brock Purdy starting five games, with Christian McCaffrey starting 10 games, with Debo Samuel starting 12 games, said- missing five, and Samuel himself has said he was awful last year, which by his standards, he was definitely subpar. He said, I wasn't in the right place mentally. I wasn't in the right place physically. Okay. Everybody's talking about Brandon Ayuk having – he's been good already, but having a breakout year. like, And – Dusty and I were digging, grinding while y'all working on jokes. And here's what we found. With Brock Purdy as the quarterback, the five, I know it's five games, but 33 points a game. Look at the yardage, second best okay. in the league. Like, it is a definite possibility. And McCaffrey's got a full offseason oh, with him now. Purdy's got a full offseason. Oh, that's good. They I, what? Didn't, I didn't know they turned off injuries this year. Well, so if I'm they like, get hurt, McCaffrey. Is that, but that's your answer? If they get, no. Somebody's going to get hurt? No, no, no. no. What if they're well, not yeah, hurt? Well, hold on. Travis Kelsey doesn't the, get hurt. McCaffrey does get the, hurt. Yeah, I mean, one guy, right. So the, the one I'm team, assuming everybody plays. If, if everybody plays for the Niners, but that's they can't lead the. No, first of all, no. And second of all, it's a bad assumption. Why? Because they're the most injured team in the league every year because of the style of play. You, you, there is a there is a cost to everything. And a cost of we're going to be a smash right. mouth, run after catch, physical football team is your guys get banged up. And the cost to spending a bunch of equity on a great player in Christian McCaffrey, who one of the reasons he was available is because he's hurt all the time, is that he they might get hurt. They could still be that without so, McCaffrey. Oh, okay, that's no, no, that, but those numbers they could still that Wild that. showed were with McCaffrey, mm-hmm. and that's the, what they're made better the offense with took Purdy. Just Purdy. The, well, Purdy played all his games Combo. with McCaffrey. I mean, they he was could there still for be great. Okay, without McCaffrey so here's the thing: You're, if he gets hurt, I the last decade, number one offenses. It's Mahomes' offense, it's Brady's offense, it's Rodgers' offense, it's Lamar, the, his MVP year, Dak a couple times actually, shout out to Dak, Drew Brees one year. It's the, one of the best quarterbacks. Can we throw up the quarterback pyramid? Because I know Brew loves Brock Purdy, and for, there are 20 NFL quarterbacks above Purdy on this list and Caleb. Williams. Is that official? Ignore, ignore Caleb. The no, NFL is, put that out? No, no, no. I'm asking you, though, Brew. <laughs> Brew, so I'm asking you. There are 20 quarterbacks above Brock Purdy. Is there a single one you think he's better than? A single How one of those quarterbacks. How were they top five last the, year with Jimmy Garoppolo and Brock Purdy at quarterback? They weren't. Oh, top five over the course of the year? Yeah. Well, they, Jimmy's top 20. You see Jimmy right there? No, they, but you said you have to be a top quarterback. To be the number one. To they be number were, one. They were three points below yeah. Kansas City. Yeah, three, that's a lot. They were not number uh, one. So it, it, I'm, it, they, I'm they, asking. It, it's very possible. I, okay. I'm not going through all this. It's very okay. possible. Okay. So that, I mean, we're, I, I can't even see this. Just pick a quarterback. They're, they're kind of small. Derek Carr, Remember, Jared Goff, Caleb Sean Williams, Mark. that's one. I know, but I can't, I, no, I see. Get him out of that's there. That's fine. He's There's 20 Justin. NFL yes, quarterbacks. I think he's better than Justin Fields. What? I think he's better than Gino. You think Brock Purdy's better than Justin Fields? I think Until he the only led game, the I'm league gonna, in passer rating last year. Okay, that's fine. Year. But then can they I only scored 33 and a half points a game with him quarterback last year. All right, that's fine. They'll be the number one offense. Sounds good. 
That's the, the logical, re the hard reasoning. Can I give you the soft reasoning, though? Last year, I picked the Niners to go to the Super Bowl, you guys remember. I think in the NFC, you had the Cardinals, you had the Packers. I could be wrong. We can check the tape. I picked the Niners. I believed in them because I thought that their process was sound and the football gods would smile upon it. That, you know what, they knew that with Jimmy Garoppolo, they were going to make the hard choice of we have to get better. They were going to go to Trey Lance, take their lumps early in the yep. year, and by the end of the year, they were going to be better. The football gods are not going to smile upon this process. This whole haphazard, he's our guy, no, he's our guy, we love him, but actually we'll trade him for a conditional seventh-round pick. Talking out both sides of your mouth, not answering for your mistakes, and I disagree with Brew when he says all you owe a player is their paycheck. I believe you owe a player that, especially if it's a player, a highly drafted player that someone else would have taken, an opportunity. He's, and I don't has he that, not practiced? What I that is not a fair opportunity. Yeah, it is. Okay, I disagree. It is. That's okay. where you earn your starting job Look, is in practice. And he did, and he earned it. And, and then, then he, got, he hurt. got hurt. It's not. It, it's not their but, fault. He got hurt. Okay, it's not fine. his fault. He got hurt. That, that's fine. So I'm simply saying I think the Niners have been dancing through the raindrops on a six-year stretch of mismanaged quarterbacking. Of, mis of, of not drafting the right players, of not targeting the right players, of saying, oh, no, 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 the, the Shanahan pixie dust can fix it all. And by the way, usually it has. Mm -hmm. And I think this year that chicken comes home to roost because I think Brock Purdy was not as good as the numbers suggest, and he's Fair. coming off an injury, and Sam Darnold has had 60 starts to show us who he is. Oh, in, ba in bad situations. The a bad quarterback situation. True. Sam Darnold he has been. is I, I understand that. Sam Darnold is not a good quarterback. He flatly. He's not a good I'm quarterback. I'm not saying he is, but it, he beat out Trey Lance. What? All right. I, and they and the people that he beat him out to had every reason and, to want Trey Lance except to win that Hold position. on. How then do we square that they were done with Trey Lance before they signed Sam Darnold? Did he Because he didn't has it look good to them. Okay, so it's not about And Brock Donald Purdy looks better. It's, Mr. Irrelevant beat that, him out. That's that, And so did Sam Darnold. The, the, I mean, they, they're at the practice. They're watching. Yeah. They drafted this guy. They gave yes. up a boatload for him. They want him to succeed they, and work. Right. So and he didn't. Just so we're on the same page. The same people who studied all the tapes, got all the data, and decided with their from watching quarterbacks practice and play, Trey Lance is our guy. They were wrong on that, but now they're right that he can't. Nick, what? they didn't know anything about Brock Purdy. Uh -huh. Sam Darnold wasn't there. Yes. And what they knew about Jimmy G was he's a, he's a solid quarterback, but he gets hurt all the time. Mm -hmm. It's time to move on. You can't divorce the fact that Jimmy G can't be trusted to stay no. healthy. So it's like, let's go with the guy we gave up all this for. He, we know he's athletic. He can do a little but, more than Jimmy G, and we'll go with but him. But my question is, what evidence do we have that this regime can evaluate quarterbacks? What? Well, they've been one of the best teams in the league for Despite the last several years. Despite the quarterback play. Despite You it. can't get there without competent quarterback play. Okay. I To a Super Bowl, they, to several NFC title games. And with Okay. I mean, we don't want to have the same argument. They can't evaluate quarterback position. It's very That's clear. That's fair. I mean, it's How's proven. How is it fair? Because they the started in the NFL. Them, despite it. And there's Jim, still The reason they started so many is because Jimmy G got hurt. So, in fact, they all get hurt. True. He was healthy and they got rid of him. And then they, they sheepishly brought they, him back. He was healthy two of the five years he was yes, there. And they that's knew when they got he'd rid get of him. hurt. Okay. And Brock Purdy has been healthy, I guess, zero of the one years he's been there. He's right? been healthy nine games, but yeah. he looked good. He looked better than Trey Lance did. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.